Hello, beautiful people. We're here with Capital Campus. My name is Angela Wamboy, and today we're going to interview the lovely and intelligent Miss University Kenya 2018, Cheryl Ayera. Welcome, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Cheryl? We want to know a little bit about you. Where do you go to school? Um, you know, what are you studying? What are your dreams? What are your ambitions? Uh, my name is Ayera Cheryl. Most people know me as Ayera. It's like my brand name. So um, I'm, I was Miss Multimedia. I am Miss Multimedia University 2017. And uh, I just love all things, crea uh, all creative works, all art works of art. That is, I love sewing. I love uh, designing. This is my design. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hold on. You have to do a little twirl for us. All right. Look at that lovely and proudly African Kenyan made. <laughs> I actually love all things African as well, so <laughs> natural hair. Uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh, we see. So, yeah, um, I love, uh, so, um, uh, I study corporate communications and I think my greatest dream is just to be able to impact as many lives in my lifetime as, as possible in terms of as a beauty queen and also I, I hope to change the face of fashion not just in Kenya, also internationally. Wonderful, great yes. ambitions. Um, so, you know, when it, when people hear about a beauty queen or a title, they think of all the glam, the good life, this and that. But we also know that being a, a beauty queen comes with a lot of challenges. So just share with us, what are a few of the challenges that you are facing as a queen? I think the greatest challenge that beauty queens face is expectations from people because you know as a beauty queen you're a role model mm -hmm. and sometimes the the public forgets that you're a human being they hold you to a particular esteem like you're supposed to be perfect so i think that is what causes a lot of pressure that is when you find like cyber bullying comes in and people uh, someone uh, goes into pressure or you get pressure because i honestly mostly get into pressure because as a beauty queen as a good beauty queen you mm -hmm. always have a dream you always have some kind of platform that you want to do and so when you you you're trying your level best but you're not achieving your platform you're not going you, you're feeling like you're not going somewhere you start getting uh, pressure because you're like ah, i'm not get doing this what are people thinking of me and i think that is the greatest challenge that we face yeah, very relatable to um, most people that are previous queens. Um, you know, they say like, to whom much is given, much is expected. expected. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just hearing your, your journey and your struggle and how you're coping with everything. I think you're doing an awesome job thus Thank far. Um, and also tell us, do you feel like you're getting enough support from your university? How's your university supporting you as you get to the next level? Well, unfortunately in Kenya, you know, pageantry is not really given as much credit as it, it, it's supposed to be given. So you find that in most universities, they never really understand the importance of a beauty queen or a beauty queen for that matter. Um, they never really understand that you're the brand ambassador, therefore you're supposed to represent your school in, you know, all things, uh, events and uh, stuff like that, all things, uh, CSRs and all that stuff. So you find that most of us have to fight. I actually had to fight to get support from my school because they never really understand. So I, I get a bit of support. They're opening up to it, but you know, baby steps will get there. So when you say support, is it financial support? Is it just, um, you know, having your school on board and, and uh, supporting the pageant program? What type of support specifically? A bit of financial support and also just in terms of, you know, trying to know my, pro my, my progress as Miss University Kenya. Where I'm so publicizing yeah, and things like that. Yeah. Okay, and that's why we, the Capital Campus, are here today to support our queen. Um, so I understand that there's another component of the pageant that actually happens online, yeah. where we can get online, support you, vote for you. Tell us a little bit about that category and how we can all get online and support you. So yeah, um, to, to support me to win the Miss University Africa title you have to go online at miss university africa on facebook and instagram no spacing and just like my photo that is kenya and go to the comment section and tag like all your friends so they can come and like and also mention all their friends and this will enable me to get into the top 10 like uh, the, the the country that has the highest votes will automatically 
automatically sorry get into the top 10 so yeah all right so as she said let's get online if anything i know kenyans know how to get online and support our own let's support our queen on her mission to the next level it's not a popularity contest but it's just to help ensure that she makes it to the top 10 so that she can fulfill her dream of becoming Miss University Africa. So if you do end up walking away with the crown, which we hope you do, um, basically I want you to tell me two things. What would it mean to you to be Miss University Africa? And also, what do you get to walk away with? What is, what is the prize at the end of all of this? For me, first of all, it's just an honor. I'm very passionate about pageantry, so it's just an honor. And also, um, I'll be, at least I'll be able to do what I love, that's giving back to the community. And as Miss University Africa, you get the chance to become the United Nations Ambassador and also the International Beauty Queen. And yeah, you get some other little prizes like money, probably a car, yeah, stuff like that. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from our Miss University Kenya 2018, Ayera. Please get online. Let's vote for her on Instagram. That's at Miss University Africa and at Miss University Africa on Facebook as well. Thank you. Thank you.